geyser blanket has got one job, and that's to stop the thermal losses on your geyser. Now let's look at a construction of a geyser. The geyser has got an inner metal tank. That metal drum conducts the heat, and it loses that heat to the outside. You've got a polyurethane insulation layer, and then an outer metal encasement. Now as the geyser heats up to about 60 degrees, that heat is conducted through the metal, partly buffered with a polyurethane, and then conducts it through the outer metal encasement. And all that heat losses happens during the day. What we're doing with the geyser blanket is effectively more than doubling that insulation by adding an additional 50 millimeters of insulation. So that typically would be the, the bottom part of the tank. You would have a 15 to 20 millimeters insulation and at the top of the tank, anything from a 20 to about a 40 millimeter insulation. The problem with the polyurethane is with time and heat, the polyurethane starts deteriorating and loses some of its insulation value. So the geyser blanket makes a big impact on that energy saving. ESCOM specifies an average saving of between 65 to 75 watts. What we have found with the geyser blanket is in the 122,000 we installed, that during midday, with just heat losses, you will have a saving of between 60 and 70 watts. But the big impact is in the evening, when you actually start using hot water and the tank needs to reheat where it now heats up effectively and, and more efficiently, where that saving averages from 80 to 95 watts during your peak. And that's when we really need to save electricity is in the peak periods when the grid is taking a lot of strain. So in summary, the blanket stops that thermal loss, it helps the tank to heat up faster and gives you that overall 27% saving on your geyser losses and helps the tank heat up more effectively, which gives the homeowner money in his pocket. <laughs>